Hello, welcome to another tutorial by Longhorn Physics. In this tutorial we will talk about force and Newton's second law. Here's a practice problem. So what force is accelerating a 1000 car at 2 meters per second squared? Again, I always like to start off a problem by drawing a quick sketch. And so the car is 1000 kilograms. And the acceleration is 2.5 meters per second squared. Now in order to solve a physics problem, you have to be able to match the units with the variables in the equation. In this case, our equation for force is force equals mass times acceleration. Some people might want to put net force there, but we're only going to be worried about one force in this problem. The force of the car uh, moving forward. We're going to ignore frictional force to make the problem easier. So as always, uh, next step in the process is to go over all the units uh, that match with each, each variable in the equation. So here goes. So here's Newton's second law. It says that force is equal to mass times acceleration. And what we have here on the screen is the equation with all the matching units and some ter terminology. Feel free to uh, stop the video and take notes at any time. So let's go over each equation again. Net force, um, we'll talk about in another tutorial today. We're just going to worry about, in this tutorial, just worry about force. And Newton's is the unit that matches with the symbol for force. Some people also call these variables. Uh, the mass in physics, the units are kilograms. And acceleration, the symbol is A and the units for acceleration are meters per second squared. So in order to solve a physics problem, you need to be able to pick out the units in a problem and match them with their, the symbols in the equation. And here's the terminology and some working definitions for force, mass, and acceleration. All right, so after going over the uh, equation, terminology, and the units that match with each letter in the equation, uh, next step like to do in the process of solving a physics problem is what we call a circle label method where you go through the problem and you circle any important data and you match it with the letter in the equation. So here it goes. What force? So force, circle the word force, put an F there. This is what we're actually looking for in the problem. And then I see 1,000 kilogram car, so I know that's the mass. And then I screw down and see meters per second squared, so I know that's the acceleration. So I match that with the letter A. All right, so uh, after uh, organizing the data here and labeling the units that go with each letter in the equation, the next step is to do your calculation. Uh, whenever I have an equation, it looks to be in the form A equals BC, meaning you have one symbol on one side and two on the other, or variables if you want to call them. Uh, we can use what is called a math triangle. So on this side, this side you see how it would actually look. The A always goes on top, and the B and the C always go on the bottom of this triangle. So what you do next is you just match up the letters with the form A, B, C, and so we have F, M, and A. It does matter that you put the variable by itself always on top, but the other two can go in either corner. It doesn't matter. So the way these work is if I'm looking for this letter, then I would divide these two. If I'm looking for this corner, I would divide these two. And if I'm looking for the fours, I just multiply the ones on the bottom. So next thing I do is go ahead and plug in what I know. So I got my 1,000 kilograms. That goes for my mass. And my acceleration is 2.5. So it's real easy to see that all you got to do to figure out the force is to just multiply these two. And when you do that, you end up with 2,500 newtons.